come with me and you'll be in quench time. Bye, Alicia. <laughs> Immediate face of terror. That was so stressful. Okay, it's pep talk time. It's been seven or eight months in the making and we're launching like Saturday night, but we're finishing the whole thing tomorrow. So we're gonna finalize the brush guide. Those stairs. I know. I, I walked say. up the stairs and I lost my breath. Okay, so the plan is I'm going to take you downstairs and show you some of the assets I'll need you to work on for the book. I'm finding little bits as I go. If you can transport the text for the remainder of the book for the five hero pieces and then once you're done that come get me yep. and I'll show you how I've been formatting the book and you can base on that to continue those sections. Yes. Okay. Cool. We've got a plan? Awesome. Come with me Alicia. Cool. Now I am having the audacity to call these the world's best digital brushes. Ooh. Does she look terrified right now? Or, 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 <laughs> Anxious this one. Yeah. <laughs> First of all, I'm a YouTuber. I have to speak in those terms. But second of all, I, I haven't seen anything this good that covers all the programs. Yeah. Like we've covered all four programs with 87 brushes that make no compromises. Like we have not a single brush in there that is the weak link. Yeah. I love that. Yeah. So programs, Alicia, what are we covering? So we've covered Photoshop and Procreate, which are probably the most universally used. Also Clip Studio Paint and Critter, which is the free program. So everyone can use them. There was no small challenge because while many of them support the same format, they all import them differently and a lot of the settings sort of get rejigged or lost. So it's not a simple import of just your normal sort of brush files. Mm, yeah. um, so we've fine tuned them so that it is as simple as it can possibly be to get all and exactly the brushes and settings that you can get. And the brush import guide that comes with the brushes sort of shows you how to do that. Meanwhile, we have a, I'm gonna say over a hundred page course, the ultimate digital painting handbook. Jen's been working on with us for a long time, but I feel like it's really coming together. Oh you haven't, God, you haven't seen it. There's like, there's some like, this is so there's some cool. pretty fancy stuff in so there. Different. Oh my God. And then these are my sections on sketching. Oh, Oh my god, I can't wait to read them. You've mentioned Black the stars. foreground is usually darker. I've yeah. added the background is usually reflective of the atmosphere. Yeah. So if it's a yellow atmosphere, yeah. the background is yeah, yellow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So okay. if we can find ways to best show both those things, if you take a photo of that. Oh. And then I, I added the pun. Isn't, Isn't this, this eerie? Eerie. Okay. <laughs> eerie. Because ears have subsurface scale. Right. Yeah. Anyway. <laughs> oh, I've gone through and added the puns. You've got the to most important part. Yeah, you've got to want to read it. So it readable, I've, yeah. tried, I've spiced it up a little bit. All right, so we're going to divide and conquer now. Uh, Jen is upstairs working on implementing the copy edited text. Alicia's going to add a few more fine tune assets and I'm going to continue to fine tune the layout. Let's go. the next day but it's the last day for us to work on the brushes for context this feels sort of like ah, the <laughs> the <microphone laughs> on your head. just no. like you're holding it with your like a beamer yeah so for context we've been working on this how long have we been working on this in at least six months it's been a real slog there were like at least two months of research and like familiarizing ourselves with crafting brushes and then months of making brushes and then months of making courses on how to use brushes but today's the day we're looking at the final thing the goal of this read through there's about 100 pages to go through we're looking for spelling mistakes we're looking for formatting issues and we're looking for anything that feels confusing or needs clarification so for the non-artistic among us if you don't understand the concept, then let us know because we can rework that to be more understandable. That's sort of the point. Yes, you in the front. Queen Elizabeth? What? Mm -hmm. Oh, well, I just assumed that, that these are people who you think. You, you still yeah. have to fill in yours. Okay. But I'll fill in mine. <laughs> you just assumed that she would think Queen Elizabeth. Yeah, I, just, I, <laughs> I do not remember saying I just like, I thought, who are the most important people to Alicia? Yeah. You know, the purpose of creating digital art is to bring exciting ideas to life. How to use this book. While it would certainly be constructive to read this book cover to cover, if you overload yourself with too much too fast, it might be difficult to retain some of the lessons and commit them to memory and habit. This is the 
third club upstairs in this vlog. It's always riveting. It's like we're heading into the adventure up here. If you want to paint this and a lot more complex and very cool paintings and illustrations, check out. It's it by the time this is it's it's out. We've been working on this for so long and it's out. Finally. There are so many questions about the brushes from the last vlog about the brushes. Okay. So we thought we'd wrap up this vlog by answering all your questions so that you can go check it out with full knowledge and understanding and we can sort of debrief a little bit as we're, yeah, <laughs> we're winding this up. I've been looking for a decent realistic watercolour brush for years. Will there be a watercolour brush in this pack? Oh my god yes. The first one is my favourite. Same. I think it's so yeah. wet and it just looks so much like watercolour. It's the closest to a great watercolour brush I've ever seen in a non-fluid -dy dynamic program yeah. personally. And oh. there's five or six other, other ones that are also pretty good nice. as well. Well, they work in Procreate. Yes. Yep. Really, really chuffed that four programs, Photoshop, Krita Procreate, and Clip Studio Paint are all covered, tested, import guides for all of them. There are little nuances that we had to figure out with each one so that we could work out the kinks so it's seamless for you. So if you use any of those four programs, you're gonna have a seamless experience and there's import guides and a brush guide Yay. with the brushes. Do you have a release date in mind? <laughs> Today! Yay! <laughs> are these brushes going to be free? Mm, I don't know. <laughs> I'm trying to let you answer something. But that was like a no, that's not to me. The the reason, obviously, why is because as we've pointed out many times, we've worked on this for like well over six or seven months. It's, this is a costly exercise to produce them. Mm -hmm. Hopefully we can make a profit. And then if we do, it means we can make more cool stuff. So that's why they cost money. And also there's nothing like this out there that I've seen. Mm, there's yeah. not, nothing that I've seen that covers so many programs, has so many brushes, but not like noise. It's not just like yeah. in there for the sake of in there. Yeah. There's carefully curated, like under a dozen of each category, really well made brushes. No really matter really how well. much it is, I promise it is worth the price. Oh, I love it. <laughs> I don't know what that is. I'm going to say it now. You ready? I wrote this on. We, we figured we, it's locking it in. You ready? The prices are $20 for the brush pack, $25 for the painting course, 100 pages plus digital downloads, resources, Photoshop files, video recordings, yeah, yeah. and $35 for both. Oh, oh that's good. good. 35 bucks yeah. for the entire ultimate brush set. And it will. Say, it is like the ultimate professional yeah. help you out and keep you going on your journey. That's yeah. amazing. Is it possible to pick and choose which one we download, or do we get all of them? When you purchase them, you get all of them. Mm -hmm. But for Procreate and Critter, you can choose to import the different categories. So like pencils, or just inks, or just oils or you can also have the choice to download the whole pack mm -hmm. all the programs sort of categorize and organize their brushes differently mm -hmm. um, yeah. and that, that's by virtue of the fact that they sort of lump them all in one place photoshop has subfolders um, yeah. some of those yeah. other programs don't so we've sort of subcategorized the brushes so you can import what you want will there be a mop brush Yes. <laughs> not a mop brush. The, cl the closest. <laughs> What's the closest to the mop brush? It must be the hair brush, I guess. Yeah, thick hair. Maybe. It's just a big thick yeah. hair brush. <laughs> and will there be a brush that can imitate that spatula Bob Ross uses to do mountains? I kind think of the crumple yeah. brush. The one of the like texture that. brushes. One of the texture I was brushes. sort of going there in my head too. Yeah. Yeah. So there are some which sort of lay down the texture depending on how hard you're pressing, and okay. the texture brushes are sort of like. You like Bob Ross wouldn't paint the whole painting mm -hmm. with his spatula, but he comes in to do that effect. Yeah. The the texture pack of brushes is for that sort of thing. You yeah. go in and add metallic effects or like crackles and that sort of thing. Yeah. So it, it'll be in there. And that's it. That's it. Well, that's I hope that answers your questions. <laughs> I like that we had the answers, which yeah. is pretty cool. Yeah. I'm just so proud of everything everyone has done. Thank you, Jen. Yay. Thanks, Alicia. Oh, Thank you, everyone. Literally, we had to start recording because we high-fived, it wasn't in contact. Yeah.